hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is part 8 video on ASP.NET core identity series in dotnet 7 so in this video we are going to implement microsoft account authentication so to implement microsoft authentication we required microsoft account you get package Let's search like Microsoft Authentication Microsoft Account NuGet and you are going to see a NuGet link like this. So the actual package is Microsoft.ASPNetCore.Authentication.Microsoft Account. So copy the CLI command and open the terminal. Clean the terminal. Add our command and install the package. Package installed successfully. To cross verify, go to CS project file. And here you are going to see the package reference like this. Okay, now we have to register our ASP.NET Core identity project into the Azure portal. So that we can enable the Microsoft account authentication. Okay, please make sure to register with the Azure portal. Once you register, you are going to land on a dashboard like this. Now here you can see a option like app registrations. So click on the app registrations. And here there is a button like a new registration. So click on the new registration. So here we need to give a name to our application. Okay, so I am going to give a name like .NET 7 and supported account types. You can choose the third option and scroll down here. There is a redirect URL. First, we need to specify the platform since our application is web application, right? I am going to select a web option. And here we have to frame a redirect URL of our application and we have to add it here. So let me run my ASP.NET Core identity application. So command to run our .NET application is .NET watch run. So this is my application domain. And I have to create a callback URL for Microsoft account. So the complete path of the URI is your localhost domain slash sign in slash iPhone Microsoft. Okay, this sign in Microsoft is a default path understand by the ASP.NET Core identity. So copy this URL and add it in this text box and click on the register button. Now our application is successfully registered. Now the thing here, there is an application ID. So we require this application ID in our application. So copy this. And in our JSON file, which is nothing but app settings.development.json file, just like any other social login, we need to have a app ID and app secret. So let me create the settings for Microsoft account. Microsoft auth settings. Okay, let me add like app ID. App ID is nothing but application ID. I just copied right. I am going to paste it over here. Next, I required app secret. So we need to generate the app secret now. So to generate app secret in our dashboard under our application, you can see a menu like certificates and secrets. Click on it and click on new client secret okay here give some description for your secret 
and check the expiration time of your secret key okay so on click on add button and it finally generates a security key for me so i have to copy the value okay copy the value of the secret and add into our application okay so that's it we are done with azure portal dashboard now i have to register the microsoft auth service in the program.cs file okay add microsoft account okay yeah, options so me options dot have id client id okay client id we have to assign our app id value same way client secret to this we have to add the app secret okay so we know how to read from the json file just copy this line okay and we need to change the section name it is microsoft auth settings okay and the ap app id property name same way i can read client secret also okay So we are done with the code changes now we can test our microsoft account authentication so let's rebuild the application okay let's go to our application to click on either register or login button we can see the microsoft button enabled for login okay so i am going to access my application in incognito tab because in this browser i have already logged into my microsoft account so if you try if i try to do microsoft login here few login steps skips so to see all the steps i am going to open the application in incognito tab you can use any browser but where you should not already logged into your microsoft account okay so let me click on the microsoft login button so if you observe now i am navigate to the microsoft login page so let me give my credentials okay here it is asking whether to access or not you access okay here we can see a message you are successfully authenticated with microsoft so please associate a email so if i observe my database okay in asp.net core logins there is no microsoft account provider that means the user is not at register to register the user we should associate the email so i am going to register now so here it is showing please check a confirmation email okay so before that if i check again my database see now the microsoft user provider is registered and also if i check the user table here there is the outlook email means now i am able to i am registered my user okay to activate my users i have to click on the link that was sent to my email address so here is the email i received let me copy the url and let try to activate my account okay 
now email confirmation is successful let me re try to log in now okay so let me close this browser again why i closed it means i have previously logged in right microsoft account so it might skip to login steps okay so i closed the incognito and open again now click on microsoft is asking my credentials see now i am logged in into my razor page application that means i am successfully implemented the microsoft account authentication in the asp.net core identity project okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off